We're at part 9 of this tutorial now and we're going to look at external references. This portion won't take uh, too long to, to demonstrate. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, go to model space and I'm going to pull in into this drawing another drawing. It's not inserting it as a block. If you did that we could explode it and we could use the, the objects. We're going to bring it in as an external reference which is uh, like an underlay and we can work on top of it and use it for reference or basically just for printing purposes. So we'll have a look at the drawing first. So we'll open the XREF first, let you see what it is. Okay, so I'm calling it OS map. It's just a trace of uh, some of, of, a, of the surrounding area. So our building fits into this gap here and the pink items are building blocks around ours uh, the yellow roughly roughly script doodled walls and the pale blue uh, paths and road edges okay now this drawing's been carefully rotated so it fits ours and it's also been given uh, uh, a base point okay now this this is a bit like the the insertion point that we've been working with in uh, in the blocks but it it's what it is it's you you deciding where this drawing would drop in and where you would control it from and you can use the command base and pick a point that you want to control it by and that's what the base will become thereafter so if I chose the corner of this building as the control point then it picks up whatever the coordinate is at that point okay if I type base again it shows me that's the points that's the coordinates of the point I picked okay now it would be better if the base for this one was at zero zero so I'm just going to type that in zero comma zero okay just check that it's done it base zero zero okay so we'll bring this drawing into the other drawing as an X ref so I'm going to close it just now I'll not save any changes because I didn't really actually make any okay now we use the insert command to do this but before we do that let's create a layer to hold our xref so we'll create a new layer and we'll call it xrefs because there might be more than one i'll try and keep everything in capital letters xrefs it doesn't matter about the color for this layer because it's it's just a holding layer uh, the colors are inside the xref already the lines of the roads and the buildings Okay, don't need to make it current either. Okay, that's the job done. So I can close this dialog. And then we insert and we attach. Okay, so instead of inserting, we attach another file. Okay, we'll find the drawing. It's in the AutoCAD course folder. And at the moment it's looking for just images. I want it to look for DWGs. So we've got drawing.dwg and I want the OS map. Click open. This looks reasonably similar, slightly, slightly different emphasis. It's asking me first over here, how do I want to bring it in? Do I want to bring it in as an attachment or as an overlay? Now an overlay means that it, it won't travel with this file. It's, it's a very temporary situation. An attachment, however, the the main file level six plan remembers this drawing, and it would it's it's always looking for it. Basically, overlay is much more temporary. Um, if you if you don't want anybody to ever see your X refs, then attachment as, as, as overlays will be safer. Okay. Well, most people tend to use them as attachments. It's only when it's very sensitive that you that you have to kind of consider an overlay okay I don't want to change the scale of the OS of the OS map it's going to come in at the right size the insertion point happens to be zero zero so that's okay um, well that's the insertion point no tell her I do want to choose the insertion point I choose the insertion point because I want to place the XREF on the very corner of the building which isn't necessarily zero zero in this drawing 
Okay, I won't change the rotation though, because that would uh, mess things up. So I'll click OK. Okay, you can see I've got quite a big drawing kind of floating around on my cursor now. And if I zoom in and choose the very bottom left hand corner of the building, you can see that these bridges from the neighboring building link on at the right place. All the layers appear quite dark, don't they? They kind of dulled down. It's it's they like that because I can't do anything with them. I can't use the lines. I can't pick them up and move them and delete them. I can use them for trimming though. If I just draw a line, then I should be able to trim. Okay, but I can't pick that particular line and delete it. Okay, but I can use it slightly. Okay, have a look at your uh, layers list and see what's happening in there. And you'll see there's a, a little cluster of layers there, starting with the word OS map and then the symbol, which is called pipe. And so that's identifying the layers that are are inside the XREF. So I can still control them. I can turn them on and off if I want to. Or what I could do is put the XREF onto the XREF's layer. So I have one overall holding layer. Okay. And then what I could do is just freeze the XREF layer and all three of these are basically turned off. So if your XREF has hundreds and hundreds of layers, that's a very quick way of controlling those. Okay, now let's say somebody else in the team had changed something on the, the XREF, which is quite possible. So I'll open the XREF and add a couple of shapes to it and show you what happens. So I open the XREF, notice everything's bright now. So let's just add some circles, say, in front of the building. Okay, and then I'll save the XREF and I'll close it again. Could be left open, wouldn't matter. Okay, now a small warning has appeared in the bottom corner here saying that something's changed on the XREF that's loaded into this drawing and it needs updated. So I can click there or I could use the xref command. So usually most people would use the xref command. So xref, let's reduce this, it's coming in a crazy size. Okay, you see here the warning symbols there as well. It says that the, the xref needs a reloading. So if I right click the xref, reload the circles appear and this is basically how people share share work in an office the the uh, you might have the site as the xrefs or you might have a structural grid that everybody's using something like that if you right click the name of the xref you'll see there's a few things you can do there okay attach means attach a different one as again another one unload and reload are fairly soft okay so if you just want the thing out of the way temporarily you could unload it okay so you see that it still remembers about the xref if you right click and reload it comes back it's dead easy the stronger one is detach now this completely dumps it and you would have to go through the inserting the xref uh, process again okay so best not to do that below that we have bind and this is how you, you you can fix the XREF into this drawing. So there's two methods of that. So if I go to bind, you'll see that I can either bind it or insert it. If I bind it, it will keep the OS map pipe prefix on the layer names. If I insert, then it will just become basically one big block that I could explode and mess around with. Okay, just watch for... Uh, locations of xrefs uh, if you move the xref and or you don't update the drawing and tell it where it now is then it, it can't find it it will show up as a, an unreferenced xref so you're looking at this item down here to uh, reattach in a different position if you've actually moved it so look on the saved path if you need to reattach an xref 
you can use this little browse button to relocate it and it should come in in the same place with the same kind of rotation and status it does remember those things okay so xrefs are extremely useful very powerful um, watch out for xrefing things onto themselves so you, if, if you do that you can we create you create what's called a cyclical connection and uh, things can get a bit messy so just be just be careful which one you know the order that you attach xrefs but they are extremely useful okay I'm gonna dump the xref just now and uh, so I'll use the xref manager for that just wanted to show you that and right click it and I'm going to detach it okay and close and we'll stop that section just there 